The opioid crisis is inflicting extraordinary damage on ordinary people, and it's taking an alarming new direction. People are dying in record numbers by accident by taking these pills, which are disguised as legitimate prescription medicine. However, the pills are fake, and instead of authentic ingredients, they're laced with fentanyl, the powerful synthetic drug that can kill in small doses. One San Diego family opened up about losing their son to our Kathleen Bade. Now, I wake up every morning. It's the first thing I think of. I cry every day. I find myself quite numb. You have to be numb uh, to live with this. Three years later and the grief over the sudden death of their 20 year old son Jake is still palpable in Dave and Rita Palais South Bay home. It was just upstairs that Rita found her youngest son lifeless after taking what he thought was Xanax. Instead, it was a counterfeit prescription pill laced with fentanyl. One speck, which is like the equivalent of one speck of salt on a pill is enough to, to kill a human being. Six foot three, 280, and one pill took his life. Happier times aren't hard to find. This gallery of photos shows a talented ball player who shared a love of the game with his dad and brother Josh. And it was that passion for baseball and coaching young players that was helping Jake battle through years of depression and addiction. He sought out that pill that fateful night for anxiety, making the connection through social media. Jake was supposed to be coaching baseball here at Bonita Vista High School with his dad the next day. He didn't get to see the team he helped hand pick take the field because that pill took his life. But his presence is still felt here. His jersey and hat hang in the dugout for every home game, not just as a reminder of how he died, but how he lived. No one knew that better than the players he coached, like Hunter Call, a junior in high school in El Cajon, who pays tribute every time he steps up to the plate. I wear 25 for my high school team for him. Brave JP 25 in the dirt before every at bat. San Diego State commit David Whittle says losing Jake was like losing a family member, a sentiment he wears on his sleeve. I have, I catch his glove that, you know, I had custom made and it's got JP on it. Um, my batting helmet's got JP on it. Uh, my catcher's gear, my catcher's helmet's got JP on it. Every, everything that I can put JP on or his number on, I do. Whittle dreams of playing in the big leagues, a goal he won't chase alone. No matter where I am, no matter who I play with, I always have Jake with me some way, somehow. For those who knew Jake, it's not just about honoring his memory, but making sure he isn't lost among the alarming statistics involving fentanyl deaths. In San Diego County alone, between 2019 and 2020, they more than tripled. We 100% don't want anyone else to go through this. This has to stop. It seems like it's only gotten worse since Jake passed a few years ago, and we see more and more stories, and um, over and over again, it feels like we're going the wrong direction. And it is. The DEA issued a rare public health warning this fall launching the One Pill Can Kill campaign. It comes too late for the Palais family, but they hope not yours. Share with other parents and families and kids of um, what this can do. Not even putting the drug dealers behind bars who are selling these fake pills on the cheap through social media changes their life sentence. I don't have closure. I don't have peace. It doesn't resolve anything for me. He could get 50 years and that really doesn't matter to me. What does matter to the Palais is making people aware of the dangers and holding on to Jake the same way they remember him holding on to them. When he hugged you, you knew you were being hugged by Jake. Jake gave the best hugs. <laughs> Jake gave the best hugs ever. Kathleen Bade, Fox 5 News. And Jake's dad, by the way, is longtime San Diego sports radio host Dave Palais, who now has a podcast, if you do recognize his name or his voice. As for the man who sold Jake the counterfeit pills, he will be sentenced in February. If you'd like to learn more about the One Pill Can Kill campaign or how to recognize the fake pills, we do have a link on our website. Bottom line, don't ever take a pill that doesn't come directly from your doctor or your pharmacist.